You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark. And we finally know what the Genesis 2 logo is going to look like, as well as a few hints and nods to what we're going to be seeing in the next official map, as well as some new news on TLC3. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share around, because that'd be lovely, thank you. Let's get to it. So yes, Wildcard published their community crunch just recently with a new poster that actually reveals quite a few details. So let's unpack it. So first off, we've got a bike fish, a fish that doubles up as a bike. <laughs> or seems to be the case. As they quote below, talking about a new ride and ceramic rotor drives and horsepower, but then a bit fishy, it appears that we're going to be racing in sea space, maybe. I think what I'm expecting from this is perhaps some form of mini Astrocetus on crack. But it certainly seems to suggest we're definitely going under the sea. Because as you look at the logo, the new Arc Genesis 2 logo, it looks very aquatic with a variety of scales and Rockwell tentacles wrapped around a technological formed structure. And then we can see some type of head that perhaps is a nod to the previous poster that we saw, which we still need further details on. As I'm convinced so far, it's the end from Never Ending Story. And back to the picture, we can see more Rockwell tentacles wrapped around some type of platform but what we can definitely digest is the arc character wearing new armor this definitely looks like the armor that you pick up at the end of genesis so it will be great to see what features and additions this new suit is going to bring and of course our new map has been hinted at off there in the background are squiggles and wiggles on what the new map is going to look like. Sadly, it's not really defining too much, but my guess would have to be connected arcs that you can jump back and forth to, thus the slipstreams that are shooting off away from this world. So my guess, the map would perhaps be two or three different arcs and an almost aquatic space. So think like Extinction on how there was mini arcs and then an overall area. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. It's obviously a guess at this stage. It feels like a good guess and I'd love to know what you think. But we won't have to wait too long to find out more information about this because on the 7th of November there's going to be a special reveal. 10 a.m. PST at twitch.tv forward slash survive the arc. Wildcard have also finally teased there may be a third TLC dino, as well, of course, as giving us the date. TLC 3 is dropping on Saturday, the 7th of November at 10 a.m. PST, where we'll see the new upgrades from the Mammoth and Stego that was revealed to us a couple of weeks ago, as well as some creepy crawly evolutions. So is this perhaps nodding to the Arneo? the much underused spider that I don't think anybody even tames these days. It's certainly a tame I wouldn't have expected to be shown some TLC love. However, thinking about it, it certainly needs it. And I look forward to seeing what Wildcard have got in store for us. But again, we won't have long to wait as details will be released in next week's community crunch transfers will finally open so you can all download all your op dinos and go to town on other tribes and that happens on official xbox and ps4 servers on friday november the 20th so you lucky pvp bobs run Wildcard have also announced throughout the Fear of Old 4 event on 22nd of October through to November the 6th, you'll be getting some souped up breeding, XP, harvesting and taming at the two times variety. So get those babies popping. And don't forget guys, the Extra Life event is fast approaching on November the 7th at 10 a.m. PST, where Wildcards will be having a 24 hour stream in raising money for Extra Life. 
and it's worth tuning in as they'll be doing a bunch of giveaways, collector's editions, boxes, game keys, and I'm sure a bunch of stupid silly dares like we found last year. But said, I'd watch the squirty cream this time, mate. You can also get involved on raising money for the charity too, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Two times breeding and XP is currently active from Friday the 16th of October through to Monday the 19th, so enjoy that. And that's it, that wraps up the news. That was a lot to go through, my God. What do you think, guys? Are you looking forward to Genesis 2? Have they left it too late? Or are you ready and waiting to be drip-fed any details you can possible? Drop a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.